All right, so you know it's a good day when you get to work on automotive jewelry such as I do. I'm not talking about Stella, the shop dog. Get that bird. She's got something in her sights. I'm talking about this. This is a 1958 Gogomobile. It's not mine, it's a customer's. It is a beautiful, complete cream puff of a car. It has a plastic protector on the rear window there so when it gets towed home, uh, backwards that it doesn't get a rock through the window or any rock chips so disregard that but let's check this out i don't think i've really gone through this it is the european model with a special grill of course there's no radiator to cool the engine it's air cooled and the engine's in the back so that's just a complete facade but it's a nice little design element which i love it has a tiny, tiny little five inch round European headlights, which are so cool. The American cars had seven inch round headlights with pods to make them fit. And they were kind of googly eyed or frog eyed as some people say. Also has the European bumpers, which are nice and skinny. Probably not very crash, crash protective. The American ones had big hoops and had to comply with different safety standards. We have 10 inch wheels and tires. It's just a gorgeous, gorgeous car. Uh, you can see it has a little, little, just a little trinket of an, uh, I don't know what you call it, detail on the end of this, the aerial, the radio antenna here, like a light would go there. It has a nice little uh, sunshade or visor. It has a beautiful black top. The turn signal indicators are up here high so you can see them because it's such a small little car. It has a beautifully detailed engine. Let me show you. Again, this is a two-cycle engine. Can you see that? It's just gorgeous. It's air-cooled. In other words, the air is drawn in through this fan. It's pumped and blown through this shroud over the cylinders and then out the bottom of the car. This is where the air for the carburetor is ingested through this screen filter assembly, which then goes to the carburetor, which is a bing down there. Very detailed. The whole uh, engine compartment is this nice glossy black as well as the complete undercarriage of the car. I don't know if you can see that, but the whole car is painted gloss black. All the suspension, everything is just, and it's not done in a bad way, it's beautiful. We have two exhaust pipes here, I don't know if you can see these little guys. One for each two-stroke cylinder, it's a 250 cc's. It's our oil tank up here, this is where our oil is injected into the motor. Oh, I'm sorry. It, this is not injected. This is mixed. Uh, that's the mix ratio. Sorry. Looking right at that. So this is the fuel tank. The fuel is added here as well as the oil, and it's mixed at that ratio. I'll shut that. We'll go to the front of the car and the interior. Let's do the interior. Again, this is a Google Bill 250. See that right there? It's not spelled B-I-L-E, Gogomobile, but Bill. Beautiful interior. We have sparkles on our map pockets on the inset. Uh, the darker of the charcoal, I guess. This is gray, charcoal. Same with the seats. Uh, gray vinyl, charcoal, uh, I guess you would call it cloth. But it's not really cloth, it's kind of a weatherproof material. A few things I want to point out in the back. See the back seat here? This would be our tunnel where the shifter goes through. But this little recessed area with the aluminum trim around it, that's your gas valve? No, that's your carburetor mixture. Can't remember now. The gas valve for turning the gas off and on is this valve up here. That might be the idle control or the mixture control for the carburetor. I can't recall. But anyhow, that's super cool. You can just reach through the seat there and adjust your carburetor on the fly. Let's look at the dash here. Let me get in. I'm six foot and I fit in here. My boots sometimes drag getting in. But we have a very simple dashboard. We have a speedometer. <laughs> and we have a Wonder Bar radio. Um, I don't really know if it's AM, FM, and then uh, what do they call that? Like weather band? But and I don't even know if it would work because we don't have those stations anymore that are transmitted. But you can see it has, it's a pretty deluxe radio for 1958. We have our deluxe glove box, which is just a 
little shelf. And yeah, just a cute, cute interior. Oh, I was gonna describe the shifter. So in my last video, I called this a sh side shifter. And everybody's like, what's it mean? What's a side shifter? So what I mean by that is neutrals in the middle, but the H pattern is sideways. So first gear would be, let's start it up here. First gear is over here. First gear, second gear, third gear, and then fourth gear, and then reverse like that. Does that make sense? It's a side shift. In other words, first gear would be over here, the second over there, and I think second might be over there, third and fourth. I don't know. I have to drive it. And I guess I can do that. Fine. We'll just take it for a little spin here in the parking lot. So I'm going to turn the choke on there. I'm going to close my door all the way. Uh, we got the choke on. Turner key. We got fire from the little motor. And we'll put it into first gear. That's first gear. And away we go. And I'm assuming that's. No, that's third. So this will be second. Second is here close to me. killed it but yes I think I just figured it out first second third fourth and reverse kind of weird and maybe I'm wrong about that but um, very very ingenious for its time so all right we will close this video out such a cool little car look at that beautiful sunroof today would be a great day to go for a ride Stella wants to go for a ride you want to go for a ride Take a look at this one more time before the customer comes to pick it up. I did some brake work and some front end suspension work and looked at the carburetor and it's ready for the show that's coming up. Who's going to come to the show? Thanks for watching and stay tuned on my channel and you'll learn all about that show that's coming up. We have a microcar show every weekend. I'm sorry, every summer on Father's Day. I'd like to have it every weekend uh, at the Grand Lodge in Forest Grove, Oregon. Thanks for watching.